what is up guys so today video i'll talk with you about how you can clean up some disk space of your low-end windows tablet so let's get started so open your computer it's near about 400 mb disk space is free on c drive so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete the temp file so in order to delete the temp file go to the search button and write here run r u n run and hit enter then type here percent team percent and okay so it will open the team file and what i'm going to do i'm going to delete all of them delete yes and it will move to recycle bin try again yes so, so all of the deleted file are in the recycle bin so empty the recycle bin to free up some disk space yes continue okay all of the recycle bin is cleaned okay now open uh, this computer and c drive go to program files and there are you will notice there are some heavy heavy program that you can't move on d drive like microsoft office 360 so tap on it and click on properties then go to advance check on compress contact to save on disk space and ok and then apply it will take some time and it might save my 500 600 mb so let's see what happened guys continue ok it will take some time maybe 4 5 minutes compression complete it near about save 900 mb right now on c, c drive the previous space is 1.2 gb okay now open my computer and properties then go to advanced system settings then go to the virtual effect processing scheduling pattern and settings advanced then this is the paste file settings so we'll reduce the paste file size so that you can get more space so here we are going to disable the automatic manage space file size for all drives so on click on c drive custom size initial size is 1 gb i set it 1 gb and maximum size set it 1300 mb disable system manage on d drive set it to system manage now okay now restart I restart now so after restart open your pc and Right now it is 2.2 GB free from 400 MB to 2.02 GB. It's it's a good. Now uninstall the program you don't need. If you have uh, some kind of ins program installed that you don't need, just uninstall it to save some disk space. And go to my document and remove all of the file, your document file to D drive to save some more disk space. Titopia asked me, bro, can you make a video how to install program on HD card so that internal memory can be saved, especially Google Chrome, VLC, Player, Adobe Reader. I tried, but my internal storage space is decreasing. Thank you. So first I'm going to my open my browser and download Google Chrome. So if you already download the Google Chrome, you don't need to download it. So I'm opening the Google Chrome download site and download Chrome, 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 accept to install and so after installing right click on the chrome icon go through properties and open the file location where the chrome is installed so it is installed on program file google google chrome application click on click on the program file then cut it and cut the google chrome its size is near about 400 uh, mb so cut the google file t drive so make a folder like program file whatever you want i made a program file and paste it here continue okay try again some file is already running background so what i'm going to do uh, what you need to do if you face this problem go to trucks manager and kill the application that is shining on background the chrome application is running background i find it and end tux okay after ending tux try again okay it copied fully one d drive now send to desktop create shortcut shortcut created rename the shortcut if you want okay now double click to open the browser okay now google chrome is running from detroit drive okay now now download adobe acrobat reader if you already download it uninstall it and download the latest version and choose your operating system and version windows 10 english language dc download Okay, download complete, open and select D drive, change it and select D drive. Okay, change it to D drive program file, add up a editor. Here it will be installed and install it. So, add up a reader is installed on D drive. 
finish okay so now vlc we need to do the same thing download the vlc setup we are not going to download it from microsoft store because it will and then it will install on g drive okay then it will install on c drive so go to the site and mm, downloading the vlc uh download complete okay okay next next change the drive path to d and install so vlc is now installed on d drive finish okay so 711 mb we remove from the c drive thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video if you like it make sure you smack the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you click the red button it is somewhere here and there you can play with it you can smack it whatever you want to do do it but i just want it to be clicked okay guys so thank you so much and my name is leo and i'm signing out for today meet you on my next video tata bye bye good night